Now, I don't know if you're like me, but you've probably heard about infinite banking and whole life insurance policies being super expensive, massive fees that pay the agents more money than paid you. Is that correct for you? Well, if so, you wanna keep watching this because this common belief is what keeps many people from getting the ability to let their money grow faster. But it does require you to get the right design, the perfect design where you get the max ROI possible from these kind of policies where you can actually earn money in two places at once. So keep watching and find out how we do that here. All right, so let me just call out the elephant in the room. One of the biggest reasons why I believe that people don't wanna do this is because the agents are not investors. The agents are insurance salespeople that wanna sell you crap so that they can get paid to take care of their families. The truth is, they're looking out for their own best interests. Uh, this happened to me. You know, Even though I was a financial advisor for four years, when I left that space, essentially when I became the anti-financial advisor, right? When I left that space in 2006, I remember learning from all these real estate investors talking about how they use whole life insurance to invest in real estate. And I thought, why would you use that? It's so boring, right? It makes you no money. Why would you use something like that? But of course, the curiosity got me, didn't it, right? Maybe like these videos, it got you. I was like, I gotta learn about this. And so I eventually did. I went to a guy that was recommended to me by several other people. And he said, yep, here's how it works. You know, and he got me to read the book, Becoming Your Own Banker by Nelson Nash, right? Which is like the godfather of infinite banking, you know? So I was reading that book and starting to see that there's this opportunity of, wait, this cash can be used for more than just retirement savings. This could be something I could use right now. This could be something I could use to purchase cars or houses with or whatever it might be. And I thought, okay, this is intriguing. What does it look like for me? And so I went and talked to that insurance agent. He said, Chris, well, here's how you set it up. Here's what it looks like. By the way, you need to have the max death benefit you can possibly get. And so he said, here's the max death benefit you should get. And, uh, and as a result, it's gonna cost you over a thousand bucks a month. And I said, all right, cool. And when can I use this cash? He's like, oh, the first few years, because it's front loaded costs in those first few years, you know, it's gonna be about three, four years before you can use that cash. This sound familiar? Maybe you've heard this too or seen this as well. Same traditional whole life insurance policy that almost everybody offers, right? And so I went and I bought it. I said, all right, I'm gonna trust you. You seem like you have my best interest at heart. You're the guy that everybody recommends. I'm gonna go with it. Well, two years later, when we start going to the depths of the recession, if you recall, my real estate wasn't paying me well. I had a new business I started that was struggling, almost in bankruptcy. I obviously didn't have the cash to keep paying $1,000 a month. When I asked them, can I do anything else? They said, no. The insurance company said, nope, sorry. If you don't pay the $1,000 a month, you lose your policy. Guys, understand, I paid 25 grand plus into this policy only to lose it. It became for me like the most expensive ripoff term insurance called whole life that I'd ever bought. And so I get it. Like many people, most people out there, most insurance agents, by the way, there's many insurance agents that ask me saying, Chris, how do you do this? Like, how do you create it? Because my insurance company doesn't teach me how to do it this way. Duh, because they want you to buy stuff that costs you more money, right? That's what they sell you. And by the way, the thing that costs you the most money sometimes is term insurance because 99% of the time it never pays out. It's the highest profit for an insurance company. But if you're gonna sell whole life, they don't teach you how to like manipulate the system to where you get the best return versus what's given the insurance company and essentially the agent the most returns. Now you'll hear different things out there, right? Because here's the thing, not all infinite banking policies are equal, not at all. Because for example, I know there's a popular YouTuber that talks about infinite banking all the time, and he'll talk about the 60-40 split, you know, where you know 40% goes to cost in that first year, 60% goes to your cash. So if you put in $10,000, you have 6,000 bucks in cash while 4,000 goes out in fees. So you only have 6,000 left that you can actually access. And he'll tell you, this is the best design. They've proven it. No, it's not. Because I've been around longer than he has in this space. I've been doing this stuff for almost 20 years, of this specific thing, because I started to learn that I could do it better than what the guy that ripped me off sold it to me to do. And so I will tell you this, that is not the case. In fact, I, when I had a, a situation where one of my friend's brothers was already talking to this guy's team, you know, because he has insurance agents that work with him. And when he talked to him, the guy was super excited. This brother was excited. He said, my goodness, this is awesome. I'm putting in $10,000 and I even have 7,000 a year one. That's better than most of their policies. And I said, I hate to break it to you, but you're overpaying by about $1,000 a year. You should have not 7,000 that first year after paying 10, you should have $8,000. And so understand that Although the fees are up front, there are ways to minimize those fees, not just in the first year, but throughout the policy, so that your money grows faster, giving you more cash that you can then use to invest. 
So just understand they're not all created equal. And this is frustrating for you. I understand it because you'll come and say, yeah, but how do I actually know? The easiest answer is this. Go get an apples to apples comparison. Oh, bonus tip for you. If the insurance agent refuses to give you the numbers until you actually apply or even sign for the policy, do not work with them. That is a sales strategy, a tactic, a way to manipulate to get you to do their policy because they are scared to death you will shop them around. I encourage it because I know that hands down, we have our max ROI infinite banking system, right? That max ROI infinite banking is the thing that will give people every time the best bang for their buck. They will get the best numbers every time on that cash value, that tax free savings account. That's key. So just understand. Now, I'm not just saying this to promote myself, obviously, although we do do it. But the reason we even got in the business of doing this is because the vast majority are overcharging people in those fees that cost you money rather than really helping you out, right? They're trying to help themselves out. They're trying to put their own kids through college versus your kids, right? That's the problem. And so that's why we even exist in the first place because we got to be the best and offer the best every single time. The same way that I do policies for myself and my family is the same way we do for every single one of our clients. That's what you want. You want to make sure that apples to apples, if you're putting in X amount of dollars for X number of years, that you have more money now and in the future. Like you want to make sure you have more cash available. That's my personal opinion. The way we do that is often we minimize the death benefit and so we can maximize the cash. And we get it really close to that line. We found ways over the last really 15 to 20 years how to perfect that more and more and more so it become really more of an art as well as a science. So let me give you an example. This was a situation with one of our clients. They were a dentist. They were just getting ready to retire and they were putting 150 grand a year into these infinite banking policies with another infinite banker, a guy that had a really, really good reputation in that industry. And I was working with them on a different side. I was working more on a consulting passive income side of things. And they said, hey, Chris, we got these infinite banking policies. They had about four or five of them that they bought through this guy over the years. And they said, do you think we could be doing something better with this? Now, at first glance, I just said, you know what? It's probably fine. You know, I, I'm sure that this guy, even if he didn't do the best job for you, which he likely didn't do, still by this point, you've paid your dues, you've paid into it for a while, may not be worth replacing. However, they say, but Chris, can you still look at it anyways? Can you still do an apples to apples comparison to see if we're doing the right thing? And so he did. I actually did an apples to apples comparison. It was not easy because there's multiple policies that were paying out in different places. But here's the crazy thing, guys. After showing that they could do a tax-free you know, dump in from all the cash they had in their other policies into a new policy, and then paying the same exact premium after 20 years, only 20 years, guys, they had 2.25 million more in our policies versus theirs. So even by transferring that money over and starting over again, even though there's new fees in those first few years, that's where the most of the fees are in whole life insurance, we still kick the crap out of it by over two and a quarter million dollars in just 20 years. And because many people argue, well, that's because you give them no death benefit or a little death benefit. Guess what? They had four million more death benefit too. So they not only had more cash, had more death benefit by paying the same dollars they were already paying today. That's a massive money leak. We're all about plugging money leaks on, on our consulting side when it comes to passive income and things like that. Well, that was a big one that I didn't even expect. But for them, it was everything, everything. So you never know unless you actually just look, right? So uh, the lesson for me was if somebody asks, do it. You know, look anyways. Even if you know that it probably won't be good enough, still try anyways. And if it's not, like if it's something where you're in a good policy already, we'll tell you. We'll be honest to say, listen, there's no reason to change this. You're fine. Maybe it wasn't the best up front, but it's still good now, right? And that's the truth. And by the way, they did keep a, about one, one policy that they kept with that infinite banker guy. They didn't cancel all of them and move them over but they did keep one because that one was actually decent. But that's the problem, guys. You just never know because these guys, usually they'll do just a good job. They won't do the best. They won't do a horrible job, but they'll do a good job for you. Something that's in the middle. It gets you a little bit more of a win for you, but then they'll make sure they get more commissions on their end as well. The truth is this, the more you pay in insurance costs, the more they make in commissions. So our whole goal is how do you minimize those insurance costs so that your cash grows faster. And then that's the cash that you then use to go and invest, to go, whether it's in your business, whether you're using it with other types of investments, whether it be real estate or whatever it might be, you're making more money with the cash you have. You gotta get your money paying you as much as possible, not just in two places at once, but just getting the biggest bang for your buck. And so my challenge is gonna be this for you guys. So it's just really simple. Like I said before, you can always reach out to us at moneyripples.com, book a call to find out, one, is this right for you? Now, if you already have one, 
hey, we could take a look. Two, if you're shopping right now, let us just throw our hat in the ring. What's the harm in that, right? Just to see if maybe it could be better. That's what saved that 28 year old kid, right? I call him a kid because I'm in my late 40s, but you know, for that 28 year old, for him, that saved him $1,000 a year, $1,000 a year more going back into his pocket versus the insurance agents. That's humongous for somebody just like that. That could be the same thing for you. So if you wanna see that, you wanna see that kind of comparison or even see if what you have is good, or you just wanna see what it looks like when it's done the best way possible, go to moneyripples.com and book a call with our insurance specialist today.